Twas a week before Christmas, up north quite a hike. Collective bargaining failed, the elves were on strike. Resentment been brewing since three years ago. When asked about bonuses, the elves were told, No! OSHA standards disregarded, their safety ignored. No matter how much the elves had implored. Manufacturing conditions conducive to harm. Why, it was just last year an elf lost his arm. Slight wages were paid with no 401k, no vacation or sick time, 14-hour work days. About these concerns, Santa cared not a bit. Can't work production and scoop reindeer shit. If complaining elves weren't brought to heel, they'd become the abominable snowman's next meal. And so I ask you, what's a poor elf to do? I hire Johnny Cochran and proceed to sue. As the trial progressed, it soon came to light as witnessed by Frosty, the abused elf's plight. Further testimony showed, all the while, Santa's luxurious, lavish lifestyle. The case garnered headlines in the worldwide press. Meanwhile, at the picket lines, things were a mess. Routed scab workers of dwarves asked themselves, why bother fighting a mob of pissed-off elves? When Christmas Eve arrived, Santa finally caved, tried to take credit that Christmas was saved. But it was too late, all the damage was done. Over Santa's oppression, the elves had just won. Santa's approval rating fell like a brick. Then came allegations levied against St. Nick. Congressional investigations had barely begun when Santa was named public enemy number one. The elves kept tradition delivering toys. Christmas on Santa was still full of joys. Monopoly broken, Christmas would now be brought to you by Elves United, LLC.